Hey guys, this is Gevork again from Gev Loves Tennis. Like I've said in some of the other videos, I want to just make at least one video a week just to keep the, the momentum of the channel going. I want to say thank you to any new subscribers since my last video. Um, I actually went out to the tennis courts today to film one or two instructional videos, but it, it really didn't work out that well. It was raining pretty heavy today in Los Angeles. And um, also the ball machines wasn't working, the power went off, so it, it really didn't work out. So I'm gonna have to redo that most likely. So in lieu of that, I thought I'd just make an informal video like this, just saying hi. Um, there is one quick topic I wanna to talk about. I wanna at least have one tangible topic for each video. So, um, so today I went to this tennis store in Burbank. It just opened up and uh, I've been thinking a little bit about um, you know, tennis strings, the different types of tennis strings. I've been talking to about it with other people and some people have recommended um, using natural gut uh, for tennis strings. So what I did was I took my older racket here, which, which I don't really play with anymore. And it had polyester strings. They were like one or two years old. And I ended up, um, replacing them with natural gut just to like try it out for the fun of it. And uh, I might even make a video maybe next week or something or this weekend where I just try this out and compare it with the polyester strings to see which one I like more. So here's the natural gut strings. Uh, I don't know if, if you guys aren't, haven't heard about natural gut, but basically natural gut is, um, uh, it, it comes from the intestines of a cow, believe it or not. So this, this thing is, uh, not very vegan friendly. Uh, um, so it, it's actually an animal product and it's, it's just uh, cow intestines. And these are the most expensive strings out there, natural gut. Um, I don't really know why I haven't done a lot of research on it. I was playing with it a little bit today just to try it out. And uh, it has a little bit of a softer feel to it. Like when the ball hits the racket, it just feels a little softer. I don't know if you can tell the difference maybe from the sound. These are polyester strings, which is what I usually play with. And apparently some people actually um, do half natural gut, half polyester. So there's a lot of interesting differences. So this is the sound of the tennis ball on a polyester string. Let's see what it sounds like on natural gut. Sounds pretty similar to me. Uh, you know, I just started playing with it, so it's, it's hard to really uh, totally see what the difference is. I think the only thing I could kind of feel is it felt a little bit softer. You know, when, when the ball hits the racket, it just felt a little softer um, than, than the polyester strings. But, um, yeah, I'm curious, uh, you know, what kind of strings... Whoever's watching this video, whether it's a subscriber or however you stumble upon it, like if you're into tennis, you probably have some opinions about tennis strings and what like the tensions you like to use or what brands you like or what um, types of strings you like. You know, do you like natural gut? Do you like polyester? Do you like synthetic gut? I don't really know what synthetic gut is, honestly. I've heard that one as well. And uh, I think those tend to be pretty cheap, at least the... Uh, there's some low end ones with those, but, um, but yeah, I, I just thought it'd be fun to try something different. I just wanted to try some different things. So I thought trying, um, you know, a synthetic gut would be, or natural gut would be a fun little experiment for me just to see what it feels like. I, I think one downside of natural gut from what I've heard people tell me is that they actually break down uh, more quickly so they're more likely to snap which seems counterintuitive right like you're paying extra money for something that might actually um, need to be replaced more quickly but I guess it's just the quality is just that much better I, I don't know or maybe maybe it's just the fact that it's 
comes from a cow, so it's more difficult to produce. I, I really haven't looked into it. Maybe you guys can enlighten me on this topic. I don't, I don't know a lot about it, but, but I just thought it would be a fun little um, thing to try out. And uh, honestly, if I, if I feel like it's noticeably better, maybe I'll just stick with natural gut going forward, or maybe next time I'll try um, natural gut and, um, and the polyester hybrid approach. So that's really all I have for this video. Mostly I just want to say hi, and uh, definitely I, I do plan to get some new like instructional videos out. Uh, soon or even just videos where I'm out on the tennis courts. Like for example, I might make a video uh, follow up to this where I actually try out this racket, the natural gut, try out the polyester and like try some forehands packing and serves with them and just kind of really focus on what difference I notice between the two strings just to give my thoughts on it. But yeah, let me know what you guys uh, think about this topic, like what you, what type of strings you prefer and uh, the pros and cons, I, I, I'd like to be enlightened because I'm, I'm not an expert on it. I, I usually just always go with polyester strings. But anyways, that's, uh, that's all I have for this video. This is Gevork again from Gevlov's Tennis and have a great day.